This is a BMW 2002, a 1969 Group 2 full-blown race car. It's done over 60 races, it's had wins, podium finishes, it's had the lot. But, after all this time, it's getting a little bit worse for wear. So, today I'm going to show you how to press some turret tops. This part here is the top of the strut. Now all of this is rubber. Now this is shot now. So this is going to be replaced. And it fits in that hole. Which is probably not the roundest hole you've ever seen. Because it isn't. Now that hole there, that would have had a stud in it, but obviously this has been moved around in races and yeah, it's seen some life. So I'm going to have to replace all this and make a new strut top. But the thing is it needs a dimple, that lip on the material, so it doesn't cut into the rubber in the strut. I would need a piece of material about 160 mil in diameter to press that out. Right, I've got two billets that I'm gonna machine. Now this bit here is the female billet for the press tool. Now, as you can see, my old lathe isn't a CNC lathe. This is just a manual lathe. So, and there's also no drawings with this. I just sort of make it up as I go along. And obviously with my trusted vernier, just keep measuring. I know what measurements I need. So it all works out pretty good. So like I say, this is the female part. And what I'm gonna do is just face this off like I'm doing here. And then what we're gonna do is concentrate on the center. Now all I've done with this, now this is on an angle of 12 degrees. Now this is the same shape as the actual rubber on the mount. So it's not gonna cut into it or anything like that because if it was 90 degrees, then it just will work. You know, it's not gonna sit comfortably. This literally will just fit in like a glove. So I'm just gonna machine all this up and then hopefully we're uh, ready to go. Right, this bit here is going to be the male part of the press tool. Bit scabby, doesn't look great, but that is a nice bit of aluminium. 7075, hard as nails that, so that'll come up lovely. Now, this is the female part, as you see, lovely and shiny. Now, that strut head, it goes over the top, so all the other way around, but that's that part. Now, the male part, is going to go underneath so that is that sort of side of it if that makes sense you'll see when it's pressed out so let's go machine it and see how it comes out now this is the male part we'll just remove this bit here like i said before there's no cnc in this it's just measure measure again machine measure and then you come up with a part like this now look how shiny and lovely that is perfect and there's the female part and that should just with a bit of jiggling and poker in that should just fit over the top like that now that is the same way that the part is going to be pressed so now we need a bit of steel two mil thick this and we're going to circle out some parts as if by magic i'll put a couple of pilot holes for the studs and that fits on that recess there. So it fits nice and tightly just to keep it centralized. And now we'll sandblast them. So now we've sandblasted them very quick, clean them all up 
And now we can go and press them. Right, we're on the final stages. And what we're going to do is wipe this tool, make sure it's all nice and clean. You don't want any muck or dirt getting into it because it will just press into the tool. So this part here is the exact same shape as the strut head. So what we're going to do is the material is going to flop over that basically, but it's not going to flop over easy. So let's just put this ring on, clip it into place in the recess. That will centralize it, stop it from moving. And then all we'll do is put the female part. Now this is where the female part of it has got two gauges missing. In other words, a gauge all the way round to stop it locking up. So that will allow for the steel part, if that makes sense. So let's just put it in the fly press, centralize it, and then push it through. It's going to be very subtle. And you'll just see it go, if you look at the ring and then it will just push through there, it's gone, all done. Now we'll see if it's bottomed out, we'll take this top off and that should be flush on top. And that means it's bottomed out, that means it's literally flat. So the next stage, now I could have made a press tool for this, but again, there's only two of them and it's probably best just to hammer them over. And here it is, the finished product. All of that, just for that. So we haven't pressed the other one, you can see in the background. I've drilled the holes for the studs. So that should fit perfectly over the top. <gasps> Look at that. Looks like it was made for it, doesn't it? Should be nice and flat underneath. Let's have a look. Yep, look at that, perfect. So let's try this on the car. Let's see the old one. And that's the new one. And we're going to cut all that off and re-weld that in its place. So very pleased with this. And you can see the angle on it like that. So I hope you've enjoyed it. There's the finished product. Thanks for watching. Till next time.